Welcome to another episode of Black Food American History, and today we're talking about the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club. This has very little to do with food, but everything to do with black history, so it's still fitting. Plus, you get to see me try my king cake pop recipe. In 1909, a group of black laborers in New Orleans formed a group called the Tramps. And in a nutshell, the Tramps were formed to financially help black folks in New Orleans. And after going to a play that depicted the Zulu warriors from the Zulu tribe in Africa, their name would change to Zulu. And like other white Mardi Gras crews at that time, the Zulus were parade too. They started small using the best of what they had. The first king used a large tin can as a crown and used the banana stalk as a scepter. Very humble beginnings, but the club grew. So much so that Louis Armstrong would be the king of the parade in 1949. But membership would start to decline in the 1960s. The Black Power movement was very critical of the image that the Zulu parade was portraying of black folks. For them, dressing in grass skirts, wearing black and white makeup was the equivalent of living up to the stereotype of minstrels. From their inception, members of Zulu said everything about their costumes, to the tin can crown, to the banana scepter were used to mock white crews during that time. The costumes weren't meant to conform to some type of stereotype. But membership would grow over the 80s and 90s, and Roy Glapion was key to adding prestige to the name Zulu. He brought in affluent and influential members, doubled down on the club's philanthropy efforts, and ensured the club was financially stable. He passed away in 1999, but he was honored as a king in 2000. And today, the Zulu club is widely influential in New Orleans. Their parade is one of the biggest on Mardi Gras day. Their coronation ball is held in the convention center, which is huge. And if you're lucky to go to the ball this year, Drew Hill, Tamia, and Keith Sweat are performing and they continue to be connected to their giving groups, mentoring throughout the city, giving scholarships, and doing tours for tots. So if you're in New Orleans for Mardi Gras, definitely go out to the parade, try your best to catch a coconut, like, follow, and share, and if you like this history, leave a floor to Lee in the comments.